Hello everyone, this is Kelly with a tiny bit of this. Today I'd like to show you how to create a stained glass stencil using Cricut Design Space and your iPad. First you need to have the app on your iPad. Once you've loaded the app, you want to click it open and sign in just like you would on your computer. Once you have done that, then you want to open up a new project blanks right here on my canvas. Down the bottom you have several different options. They're, they look a little bit different than on the computer. Here you have image, text, shapes, upload. You're going to hit that upload button. Here it takes you to a menu where you could choose where to get your image from. I'm going to select from my photo library. Now it's going to bring up my photo library and I know my photos are in the camera roll. Today we're going to do two different types of images so I could show you how to weed images that are not weeded and then a very super duper easy one that's already weeded. So we're going to show you the harder one first. Now you notice when it uploaded the photo when this cuts out, if you leave it just the way it is, it's going to cut out just like this black square. In order to weed out the little sections you want weeded out so that way it makes it a stencil, you have to remove all the sections inside those lines. Notice down the bottom you have a remove and erase, a crop, undo and redo. We're going to hit the remove. You can scroll in and scroll out just by pinching your two fingers. Scroll in, scroll out to get to the desired size you want it to be in order to see the spots and get to them easily. You can take your finger by just tapping in the sections you want to remove. Now say you make a mistake and you hit that. That's not what I want removed. I can just go back to the undo button. You can also use a stylus and tap on the sections with the stylus if you want. Now for time purposes, I'm not going to continue on. Once you have weeded here, you're just going to go to the next and follow the menu. I'm going to cancel out of this because I'm going to show you the super duper easy one. We're going to discard the changes, go back to unload or upload, select from my photo library camera roll and we're going to use this rose. Now you see this image is quite different than the first one that I had dropped in. As you can see the square box has all the images weeded out. You can tell when they're weeded out by seeing the checkered square boxes within the parameters <clears throat> of the rose stained glass. So there's no more weeding, no more erasing or removing. It's all complete. So we're going to hit next. Here it brings to the next page where you can despeckle if you have little specks or you can smooth out. We're going to smooth just to give those edges a little bit of a smoother edge. Basically what that means is if you have an image that has little jagged edges, this will smooth them out to have a better cut. You're going to hit the next button. Now here's where you're going to give it a name. Now, <clears throat> you could hit print and cut or cut image, but we're going to keep it on cut image because print and cut isn't what we're working with. We're actually making a stencil. So here we're going to give it a name. We're going to write it, call it Rose Stained Glass. Hit done. This will save this image to my uploaded library. And as you can see, this is my uploaded library. I'm going to click on the rose to drop it in my current project we're working on. And there it is. Now you can cut the stencil out just like this. However, it will make it pretty flimsy. What you do need is a border around the whole circle. The easiest way to make a border around a circle image is by going down here to your shapes and dropping in a circle and also dropping in a square. 
Now we want this circle to be the exact same size as our image. So click on your image, go down to the edit panel, and check to see what size it is. And in this case, this is not a complete circle, it is 82 by 83. We're going to click on our circle we dropped in, and we're going to make that 82 by 83. I forgot to turn off my notifications. So we're going to 82 by 83. Now that means that this circle is the exact same size as our image. Now we're going to go up to this square and we're going to make this square bigger than the circle. We're going to pull this circle in, but we want that circle on top of the square. So we're going to go down here to under the edit panel to arrange and bring it forward. Now as you can see, the circle is now forward. Let's make that a different color so you can see a little bit better. Let's make it red. Okay. And pull the rows out of the way so it's not in our way and we don't end up welding them together. So this circle within that square gives it a good sized border on top and bottom but not on the edges. So we're going to click that square again and resize that to make it a little bit bigger on each side. So it gives it about an even amount of space on each side. Now in order to know if you are center within the square, you're going to just move your circle around until you see that yellow line. This indicates that we are centered this way. If we move it over and we have a yellow line going this way as well, we are centered this way and that way. This means we are dead center in the center of that square or the second object behind it. If I leave go, we are centered. I'm going to take my finger and I'm going to drag a square around both images. Then I'm going to go to the Actions panel and I'm going to slice. Slicing takes two images, one out of the center of the other. And in this case, we're cutting a circle out of that square. I'm going to tap on the circle, pull it aside, X out to remove it. We don't need it anymore. Now we're going to take our rose to stained glass and we're going to pull it over and put it right in the center of that square where we had removed the circle. Make sure it's completely centered. Once you see your yellow line going this way and that way, you know we're centered. Leave go. Now you're going to do the same thing. You're going to group both images. But this time we're not going to slice. We're actually going to weld. We need both of those people pieces to weld together in order to make a border around our rose <clears throat> stained glass stencil. So we're going to weld. Now we could just tap on and as you see we can move that about anywhere we want and it's now one image. Now I like to make my stencil six by six but you can make your stencil any size you wish. The best place to purchase stencil material I find is Hobby Lobby or AC Moore or Michaels. Hobby Lobby is my favorite brand to buy. It's not, I don't think it's a Hobby Lobby brand, but that's where I find them at. And they have different sizes that you could buy and you can cut them down to the size that you want your <clears throat> stencil to be. Don't forget to come up here to the little floppy disk up top and save your project. Give it a name and I'm going to call it Rose Stained Glass stencil and I'm going to save this project to my to the cloud this way I can open up I can open up this project um, on my computer as well and work with it from there now from here you could just go to the make it do the same thing you would with any other project put it on your mat cut it out and there you have your stencil Thank you for watching. Please come back again when I have other tutorials to show you. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the little bell so you get notifications. Thank you for watching.